Hello there, this is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFT server tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to connect Jscape MFT server to an Amazon S3 trading partner, and then upload files to an S3 bucket. There are many use cases for this kind of setup, but in this particular example, we want Jscape MFT server to detect files as they're added to a local directory and then upload each of those files to an S3 bucket in the Amazon cloud. To accomplish our goal, we'll need to set up the following on Jscape MFT server. One, a directory monitor that would detect files added to a particular directory. Two, an Amazon S3 trading partner, which will serve as the final destination of the files detected in number one. And three, a trigger that would respond each time files are added to the monitor directory. This same trigger would also be responsible for automatically uploading those files to the Amazon S3 trading partner. Let's start by creating that directory monitor. To create a directory monitor, go to the directory monitors module and click the add button. Give the directory monitor a name, specify the directory you want to monitor, and set a desired monitor interval. Because we only want this directory monitor to monitor for newly added files, let's just uncheck all events except the monitor file add event. Click the OK button when you are done. Our next step is to create that Amazon S3 trading partner. Before you create an Amazon S3 trading partner, of course you need to make sure you already have an Amazon S3 account along with an S3 bucket you'll be needing the name of that S3 bucket when we create the trigger. Once you have your Amazon S3 bucket ready, go to the Trading Partners module and then click the Add button. Select Amazon S3 from the drop-down list and then click OK. Give this trading partner a name and then enter your Amazon S3 access ID and its corresponding secret key. Check whether you can connect your Amazon S3 account by clicking the test server button. If all goes well, click the OK button. We're now ready to proceed to the final step. Let's now create the trigger that would upload files to that S3 trading partner. Navigate to the triggers module and then click the add button. Give the trigger a name and then select the directory monitor file added event type. This is the event that will be raised each time a file is added into the monitored directory. Click Next to proceed. In case you've created other directory monitors that also raise the directory monitor file added event type, specify the directory monitor we created earlier in the trigger conditions box in order to filter out all irrelevant events. Use the following expression. Monitor name equals to and then the name of the directory monitor. Click Next to proceed. We now add the trigger action that would ultimately upload each detected file to the S3 bucket. Click the Add button and then select the Trading Partner File Upload Trigger Action. As soon as the next screen appears, select the Trading Partner we created earlier from the drop-down list. For the Local File field, just enter the file variable. The value of this variable corresponds to the path of each newly added file. So what happens is that each time a file is added to the monitor directory, the directory monitor file added event type is raised, this trigger responds, and the path of the newly detected file is populated into this local file field. Lastly, we just specify the name of the Amazon S3 bucket. Just enter the S3 bucket name into the remote directory field. Now, if you want to upload files to a specific directory in that bucket, just specify the relative path of that folder. So for example, if the folder is named folder1, then just enter the path like so. Click OK to finalize the trigger creation process. That's it. Now you know how to connect and upload files to an Amazon S3 bucket using JSCAP. Please.